Good morning. Good morning to all. Welcome. Um, I'm glad and honored to be here. Once again, I've been here about great things. Um, we've all been going here in St. Thomas, coming together and organizing and planning and strategizing how to better serve the community. So we're very happy of the faith-based uh, community and all the clergymen and their representatives have been coming out to each meeting um, and the committees have been forming from these meetings. So we're, we're just wanted to share that with you. Um, let's stand so we can uh, pray. Father God, we bless your name. We honor you and we exalt you. We come boldly before your throne of grace through and in your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for this beautiful morning, this beautiful day that you have granted unto us. And your word states very clearly that your mercies are new every morning. We thank you for everyone that is here present and for those that are on their way. Lead us as we continue to discuss different ways, different standard strategies as we continue to plan. We pray, God, that you would give us the wisdom that you, Father God, would enlighten us, that you would lead us in everything that we do, and that all that we do, we do it unto you and for your glory and honor. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, we do have a sign-in sheet. However, the way we'll do it today, um, that's clearly for record keeping, is that the committee you belong to, you'll sign in under them. Okay, let me just get my... The first thing I would like to address is, we spoke the last time of having an umbrella um, organization and St. Croix has embraced it. They, they think it's a harebrained idea that St. Thomas came up with, so we thank you for that. I sent out last week asking for us to choose because we couldn't figure out when we were here the last time if we should choose between solutions or innovations. And I actually, I actually got it back even. We needed a tiebreaker, so I asked, I sent to somebody and I said, look, this is what we're about. Which one would you like? Solutions or innovations? And suffice it to say, innovations has won. So from this day forward, we'll be known as the Virgin Island Faith-Based Innovations. All right? And under that umbrella organization, it will make it easier for us to be able to um, acquire grants, being at such an organization. What also we need to do under this organization is we need representatives from, to serve as delegates to this, um, for this umbrella organization, which we'll call Virgin Island Faith-Based Innovations. We need at least two folks from each island to be representative, to represent their island, and also Pastor Carrion will be there because, you know, he's the liaison, the government liaison to the faith-based community, and I will, for the time being, serve as the secretary until we can gather ourselves up. Now, let me give you some qualifications of the delegate, the person whom you will choose. It has to be somebody who knows a lot about the island, the way the island works. You also want to choose somebody who, whose background or who's knowledgeable, I should say, about grants, about forming an organization, how to form an organization, how organizations are formed, and how we can move forward from there. You also want to choose 
someone who is knowledgeable in the area of uh, and has a heart for the faith-based community, getting folks together, and then working as one. Okay, so when you're thinking about that, and I'll, um, because we don't have a good representation here today, I'll have to send out emails, and hopefully, um, I guess I'll probably need to keep sending it out until I get enough folks to answer it. So that's one of the things that we'll be doing under this um, umbrella, this faith-based um, umbrella. Uh, today, we have, I'm, I'm hoping we have all members of all the com committees represented. I made some folders, and each folder you receive would have a sign-in sheet where I'd like for you to sign in under the committee that you're interested in. Um, we want to f also formulate form formation of the golden years and the youth empowerment committees today. Uh, prison ministry, I know we kind of like have spoken about it, but we don't really have it formed as yet. So I would really like for us to get that on the way. So having said that, after school is formed, yes, after school have been formed. Um, who is the lead for the after school? You, Pastor George? Okay. Happy Pastor George? Pastor Turnbull? I think it was Pastor Turnbull and then he, when he called me. That's, yeah. Um, as I hand out the folders, this is what you will see. The folder is equipped with a sign-in sheet. The sign-in sheet has three, three rows that have, have a head and has lead, assistant, and secretary. So under there, under like number one, which is lead, please put the name of the lead person. So in that way, what I will do is before I leave, I could perhaps get Pastor Hazel to scan email it to myself and Pastor Carrion, and then you will be able to keep your folders. All right? Did we have uh, did we have the homeless committee? Who was the head for the homeless committee? Homeless. Was that Pastor? Is it that one? Pastor Turnbull was. Is after school. Who is doing homeless? You deal with homeless? But you haven't. Yeah, we, we formed the committee already. Okay. How about the incarcerated, the prison ministry? I know Pastor Gladstone is interested in that, right? Yes. Ms. Greer, you, you are the, um, the lead, right? For the prison ministry? Okay. And then we have the golden years. And I know Pastor, I know Pastor Leonard told me he was interested in the golden years. Okay. So what we're going to do, well, we don't have the folks here to really break out into these various sections, but what I can do is, we still have a few. We have um, school adoption, youth empowerment, the beautification, and homeless, and adult education. What I will do is we, would, we will go over real briefly some of the, um, and I know I sent it out to everybody in an email, at least everybody's email that I had, where we have actually discussed goals and objectives for the homeless and mental health um, committee. The prison ministry, we have those goals and objectives also. And the after school program, we have those. So let me see, we don't have homeless here. Nobody's there for homeless? No? 
What, what committee are you representing? After school? You really should tell me. So, okay, so you will get with Pastor George. All right. Okay, let me see. We have after school. Who we have here for after school? Two folks? Okay, so we'll break out into that group. Who do we have for prison ministry? Three or two? Three, okay, so you could break out into that one. And then, Pastor Leonard, I'll work with you for, um, yes, for the golden years. Okay? Uh, let's, um, let me tell you when you break out what I would like for you to do. I'd like to have a lead, an assistant, and a secretary. I'd like you to share your concepts and your concerns. Now, I did not make a copy of, to bring for everybody, of the past goals and objectives that we worked on, but I know I did send it out to everybody. I will, I'll see if um, I could work with Pastor Hazel and see if I can get a copy for the committees that are represented here. And I, what I would like for you to do is, like, um, sharpen up your goals and objectives and then let me know what your next steps are where where would you like to like your next set of meetings what would you like to do also i would like it if we can i would like it if we can do things if if you can secure a day time and venue for your meetings or if you like it this way where you all meet on one day, but you need to secure for that something that would work for folks because I know everybody works. So if it is afterwards you want to, like at 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock, you would like to have your meetings because from henceforth, I'm kind of like giving you a little push out the door. You know, when your child becomes an adult, you try and encourage them to go and live on their own. So from here forth, this is what, it will, it will be. So if you can secure a venue, a day, a time for you to meet, and then I can, I can write that down. Okay? Okay? All right, so go ahead and break out into your various committees, and I will work with you, Pastor Leonard. All right, just give me one second. Do you know what you're doing today? <laughs> We're going to sharpen up our goals and objectives to make sure that's what we want to do. Um, I'm, I'll go and see if I can get copies. Then after we do that, the next thing we'll do is you'll secure um, your, your meeting time. Your meeting time, place, date. Okay? Thank you.